Hello, uh, my name is Twyla Exner and I am a Canadian visual artist currently based on the traditional unceded territory of the Clayton Tene, also known as Prince George BC. I am super grateful to be here on the territory of the Silk, Snyaks, and Okanagan First Nations, um, also known as Grand Forks um, BC. And it's such a pleasure to be sharing my work in this beautiful space and to be working with really wonderful people. My exhibition that we're looking at today is called Kling. You can see it behind me here. And the installation isn't quite complete. As you can see, I am in the midst of adding a mural component uh, behind the works. So Kling, uh, hopefully you can tell, is uh, barnacles, much larger than life, um, placed onto used satellite dishes. I actually grew up on Treaty 4 territory in Saskatchewan, so nowhere near any barnacles. Uh, but I have long had a fascination with uh, sea life and often would find myself kind of looking at these National Geographic images when I was a kid and thinking of the ocean as this alien landscape, this kind of other world uh, to be explored. And that really kind of was the seed in, in my imagination for a lot of the work that I've completed in this exhibition that we're looking at today. I have long also had a fascination with technology, which has uh, material implications to a lot of my past work. I've worked a lot with a telephone wire, with circuit boards, um, with a used computer shells, and so satellite dishes kind of fit into that stream of technology. I'm really interested in e-waste because there are these material fab, you know, fabrications of objects that represent how we can interact with this intangible space of the internet. And I find that process really fascinating. As I mentioned, I grew up in Saskatchewan. I didn't actually set foot in the ocean until I was 30 years old. And it was a really kind of thrilling family trip um, that I took to Tahiti of all places to step foot in the ocean for your first go. Um, and seeing the underwater life in person was just the most exciting thing you could imagine. Uh, when I returned, uh, there was you know, more sea life, uh, ocean life in my artwork. I was really interested in representing these forms and pairing them with technological structures. And I found that what I was just doing intuitively was using um, the barnacle in the dish of, of satellites. And that came about in a number of drawings and prints that I worked with. And as I kind of became attached to that imagery, I really wanted to make it physical. So my original barnacles are made with styrofoam. Um, I collected actually offcuts from the local art gallery in Prince George that they used for crates. I glued them together and I carved them down into like a really basic form. I then covered that form with a skin of sulfur-free plasticine. So after I had my plasticine original, I created a silicone mold. So I would paint the layers of silicone over my plasticine, and once it was thick enough, I could lift it up and boom, I had a mold. Once the mold was complete, it came to casting. A lot of people ask me if these works are ceramic or plaster, and they do look that way. Uh, which I wanted them to look, uh, but they are in fact made of urethane, which is a plastic. So the plastic comes in two liquids, you mix them together and you have five precious minutes <laughs> until that liquid becomes a solid. So if, as you can imagine, if working on uh, some of the larger scales, I had to move the mold around. So it's quite a physical process. Then they are backfilled with a rigid expanding foam and the large ones, actually have L bolts that go through the satellite into the rigid foam that's holding them on there so, um, so they can't fall off on your head because that would not be good. <laughs> they are also faux finished with uh, paint and there is a line of caulking um, to make that seam from the barnacle to the satellite dish. Uh, you can see the beginnings here behind me of these radiation lines. So what that is representing is signals and ripples. So I'm making that connection to technology and the ocean with the graphic imagery as well as the sculptural uh, components themselves. I felt like it would tie uh, my drawings to my sculptures. It fills the space. And it also just kind of 
continues to expand upon the idea of pairing like the technology in the ocean and the similarities that we have between our technological structures and natural systems in the environment. So uh, what I hope that people take away from this exhibition is just kind of a sense of, of wonder and joy. I do have a lot of kind of serious um, environmental concerns or e-waste apprehensions that run through my work, but I, I also like to be playful um, within it. I hope that you can look at the work and kind of let your imagination expand on what is here. And I hope that you never look at barnacles or satellites the same way again.